Sanjay writes, hey AMC Movie Talkers, love the show. My favorite movie is A Man of Steel. Nope, I'm gonna start that again because Sanjay, I couldn't read. Hey <laughs> AMC Movie Talkers, love the show. My favorite movie is Man of Steel. Thor The Dark World might change that. Since Man of Steel was a box office success, making $662 million worldwide with mixed reviews, 56% on Rotten Tomatoes. Imagine if it got positive reviews. In my opinion, I think it would have reached $800 million, maybe to a billion dollars. Do you think so or no? But 2015 Man of Steel, world's finest if it is done right. Could it beat Titanic? Probably reach $2 billion? What are your thoughts? Um, this is always an interesting question that comes up about how much influence over the box office do critic reviews make. And I've told this story before, but I was told by a pretty high-ranking studio official that the way they approach it is that it's, it's a 10% swing. So if you have a movie that is all on its own going to make $100 million and the reviews are really great, could bump it up to about 110 million. If the reviews are really bad, could bump it down to about 190 million. So you're talking about like a $20 million swing right there. That represents profit and promotions for everybody or people getting fired. So it is a pretty big swing. Do I think, you know, look, the majority of the critics did like Man of Steel. Look, preface what I'm about to say with the knowledge that all film is subjective. Your opinion is no less or more valid than mine about movies. That is always the assumption, okay? Now, starting from there, you're an idiot if you don't like Man of Steel. Man of Steel was mm. awesome. And you know, it's one of these few films that I really disagree with a lot of my you know, film critic brethren who didn't like the film. I don't understand. It's still my favorite film of the year. So I was super excited about it. I still am really excited about it. But here's the thing. The thing that kept it from making 800 million or 900 million wasn't the critic response. Because I think if it was big positive reviews, I think you might have seen 700 million. But a lot, and I said this, a year before Man of Steel came out, the biggest thing box office wise that Man of Steel was going to have to fight against was not whether Zack Snyder did a good job, whether the critic reviews are good, it was the last Superman movie. Generally speaking, a lot of people did not like Superman Returns. And it only made a very finite amount of money in superhero terms at the box office. It cost the studio a lot of money. They lost a lot of money. So having the weight of that around its neck, it was fighting an uphill battle. If people had liked Superman Returns, if it generally had positive reviews and, and everybody remembered it fondly, then Man of Steel would have made 750, 800, 850 million dollars, no problem. But it was fighting that uphill battle. Going into Man of Steel 2, maybe it's got a 52% critic rating, but it's got a 76% fan rating. Going into Man of Steel 2 now, it doesn't have to fight against the ghost of Superman Returns. Now it's building off of success instead of building off of failure. And I do believe that Batman vs. Superman, Man of Steel 2, I've said this before, I still believe it, uh, I believe that next Man of Steel movie will be the biggest box office hit of 2015. I do believe it'll cross the billion dollar mark. Um, and But you know, we'll just, so much depends on how, do the trailers look good? How does everything look like it's shaping up? Is the public perception of it changing? All that kind of stuff, but I think all other things being equal, it will break, I don't think two billion, but I think it'll break a billion. Schnepp, how do you see this? Yeah, it's definitely gonna break a billion. That's what I mean, but it's so Star Wars and so is Avengers 2. <laughs> it's a freak out summer, like in two years. Um, you know, but when we talk about budgets and things like like how much a movie made versus Rotten Tomatoes versus critics, I mean, I, I agree with you. It's it, it really is. And after hearing about the swing thing, you know, like to me, you know, the box office, like I've said before, doesn't really matter to me. I just care if the movie's good. So right. I'm really hoping that it's a great film and it takes everything from Man of Steel and builds on that and reintroduces Batman into this world where there's aliens and people who talk to fish and. Wonder Woman, so they basically have to create a brand new world from Man of Steel. So I think they're gonna do it. That's what they're doing. So. Aaron? I definitely think this movie has potential to be great, potential to make a lot of money. I think it's way too soon to be talking about how much or how it's going to do in 2015. To be honest, I need to see a trailer before I can make any kind of judgment based <laughs> on that whatsoever. However, yeah, I think uh, it'll do well if that answers the question. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.